This is from the Fat al-Bari. No scholar of Islam reads the Hadith directly. Only we ignorant Kafir do this. No scholar <laughs> reads the Hadith directly. They read what's called the Tafsir of the Hadith. Most of you have never heard of this. The most famous of the Tafsir of Hadith is the Fat al-Bari which is the commentary on a book called Da'if Bukhari. You may have heard of it. It's a collection yes. of Da'if Hadith. Now, this is written as a collaboration recently by Al-Azhar, which is the prime Islamic seminary in the world, as well as Medina University, which is the city of Muhammad. Removing weak Hadith from works was not the example of the scholars. So scholars did not remove weak Hadiths. Otherwise, Imam Ibn Hajar would not have included them in the Fat al-Bari as sources to take knowledge from. So weak hadith are sources of knowledge. Weak hadith are used to support opinions because a weak hadith containing the words of the Prophet is preferred over pure opinion and personal ijtihad or personal reasoning. This is the example set by all the scholars, including Da'if Bukhari himself who used them deliberately in his work Al-Adab Al-Mufrad. Most people think that he only wrote the Da'if Bukhari. He also wrote other works, which are compilations of Hassan and other hadith, not just the major hadith, okay, the Sahih. So the Da'if of Imam Bukhari is a collection of the Da'if hadith. Well, you can see it's Sahih, I'm being sarcastic. No, well, uh, thank you for finally saying that out loud because I was thinking a lot of people would actually think Daif Bukhari is there a Daif Bukhari as well. So that was a sarcastic comment, FYI, for the people who Sorry. are thinking differently. <laughs> so the Sahih Hadith specifically, not so he wrote the Sahih Bukhari, which is all the Sahih Hadith. He has other books which have other Hadith with different classifications, weaker ones, right? And these are not a collection of the only hadith that scholars should use. The scholars themselves say a Sahih hadith has about a 99 to 100% chance of being entirely accurate. Hassan hadith has an 85 to 99% chance of being entirely accurate. And a Da'if hadith has about a 45% to an 85% chance of being entirely accurate. Even a fabricated, a Maldu hadith has a zero to 45% chance of being accurate. The grading it was given may have been wrong or the fabricator may have spoken the truth in this instance. Weak hadith should not be treated like a fabricated hadith because an 85% chance of being entirely accurate is a very high chance. Exactly, exactly. And by the way, this, uh, and I have shown the video link already in the live chat. If you, yeah. if you will check that out again, guys, yeah. I have shown that even this, which they call Daif is not Daif. It is followed by the uh, early Khalifat Rashidin. And Khulafai Rashidin are called the most exalted ones, right? They were the rightly guided Khalifs.